start a mobile car wash. Let's go, guys. Squad, it's your boy E back at it again with another legendary video. You already know what it is, man. It's so way, man. As long as God is good, life always gonna be good. But anyhow, you guys, we are right back at it again with another video on how to start a car wash business. And today's gonna be the part two of this video. And the review is gonna be all about the equipment that we just purchased, even though we don't have all the equipments in the bin, but we're gonna have some smart equipments coming later on. So stay tuned, stay tuned, all right? So now this video is going to be about unboxing and show you what I got so far and also where I got them from and with the prices. If you are actually in the budget and you're trying to start a car wash yourself and wanted to know where you can find very affordable equipment, this video is for you. So stay in this video, don't go anywhere. And if you are new to this channel, please subscribe and leave your notification bell on so you can be the first one to know when we actually drop another video like this or car reviews and even personal vlogs, which we're going to get into. So with that being said, you guys, let's dive into this video. And now you guys, we have the equipment inside. The vent is a little bit dirty. So don't, don't talk, don't talk, all right? I'm gonna clean it, I'm gonna clean it. But what I have so far, we're gonna start with the vacuum, right? So let me take the vacuum out. Oh man, it's, it's a little bit, oh. Let me get some stuff out of the way. So we're gonna box the vacuum. Let's go on the other side. All right, now we have the rich right vacuum, you know, which is very good. And um, and I, I think this this is a wet and dry vacuum, of course. Uh, this actually is gonna be a very good vacuum. And as far as the durability, I think this vacuum can be, well, will be your very first choice if you're looking for a vacuum. I'm not saying it's the ultimate, but I think that's a very well known vacuum as far as the durability and, and the work, you know, how it's gonna get the work done. So I'm gonna show you guys what does the vacuum comes with. So let's unbox it. All right, guys, now we are unboxing the uh, vacuum. It is a five gallon uh, vacuum, five pixel, which is very strong. And um, the durability, like I said, again, is amazing. So let's right, watch now, the rest of the video. Now we have the vacuum. Let's open it up, okay? So this is the this is the holes for the vacuum. So which I'm gonna get like a, a, a bigger one, a longer one. So where I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up, right? So when I'm gonna set up the truck, which is gonna be another part of this video, how to set the equipment. So I'm just showing you the equipment that I purchased so far, but I'm gonna show you how to set them up. So this one is gonna be the one I'm gonna be using because I'm gonna have another a uh, hose wheel that that is probably like gonna be 50 feet long or 100 feet long so where the, vac the vacuum gonna be sitting inside the truck and when you pull the hose out which i'm gonna kind of show you guys a simple of it probably gonna be somewhere in that video so that we can have it can have an idea of what i'm talking about but anyhow this one's not gonna be the ideal hose that we're gonna be using um it comes with the filter as you guys can see it's a brand new filter clean as the vacuum is a brand new vacuum okay there are some parts you know uh that comes with it the wheels and different things like that which i'm not really going to get into because that's not what i'm doing so that part is going to be another part of this video how to set up the vacuum you know how to set up the the, the car wash equipment so which the vacuum is going to be a part of the video all right so That was a struggle. But anyhow, this one comes with three different uh, tips. Um, so where you could get the big stuff out, you know? So you could, you know, set it up like that. Or if you have like big dirt, like big dirt that you wanna pull out, you can use this tip. And you have another long one, a little bit more smaller with a filter that, you know, you can't pick big stuff out of it if you guys can see it. But let's put, guess, come check this out. This was supposed to go inside the vacuum. I put it in the box. That means I have to take everything out again so I can put the hose back on there. 
Come here. I'm gonna show you a little tip on how to close the box. We know I have a tip to close it right back up, right? So, you gotta take this side, like this, and you pick this side of the box. Now you have a closing box, you see? Okay. Let's put this right back inside of your, oh, you know what? I'm gonna leave this outside. Let's get the pressure washer now. Pressure washer, come on. Now, we have the pressure washer and this is the Black Max pressure washer. All right, this one's a 31 PSI, and this has a lot of pressure. Hmm, check this out. So, where the key? I gotta find something to open this box up. You see guys, in South Florida, it is extremely hot. I'm always sweating doing this thing. So, I appreciate what I do, because it takes a lot of work, all right? Voila! Now we are unboxing the uh, pressure washer which we got at Walmart. We will leave the link in the description box below. I believe this uh, pressure washer cost us about, you know, $380, almost $400, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. But like I said again, I'll put the link in the description box below where you can go check it out yourself. And the price is very affordable, you guys. Watch, let's watch the rest of the video. On the pressure washer. So this is where. You can add soap. If let's say you're doing your driveway, you want to use a little bit of soap. There's the little soap reservoir, okay? So now, if we want to quick start it, right? We got to put a little bit of oil. Yes. To start this thing, you want it to put the switch on. That's water. Alright really guys, right. the last thing we want to see, which is the water tank, which we bought this from a private seller, so there's no actual website for it or any link, so I purchased this for only $100, you guys, which is a very good price, so well, let's check guys, the rest of the video out. But not least, because we have a lot more things that will come compared to what we need, we don't even have half of the things that we need so far, but these are the main things that you need in order for the car, to start a car wash. You can't even wash your car with your soap that you have in your house. Don't do that. Don't do that. You're going to mess up your car. No, they have, they have soap for your car. Don't do that. But anyhow, let me show you guys. We have the big one right here, which is the 275 gallon of water. As you guys can see, this boy, by the time you filled it all the way to the top, it can at least last you a month or two. If you don't wash as many cars as we plan to wash, probably going to last you three months. What do you think? This is pretty big, right? But as you guys can see, there's a lot more things that we need. Let me kind of kind of show you, show, get a little closer. We're gonna need to have a little bit of plumbing 
kind of skill because in order for us to set up this hose you know this tip right here to the uh pressure washer we're gonna need some equipment which i'm gonna actually take you guys when i'm gonna be shopping for this um uh for the accessories or you can call attachment to actually set up all the equipment which i'm gonna wait for the generator to come because we need a generator it's gonna come i'm gonna show you two guys i'm gonna show it to you guys when the generator come okay so i'm trying to find the best one possible and the quietest generator I, I can find out there right but so far we're gonna need some equipment we're gonna need a hose to attach you know to connect to the pressure wash to the uh water tank all right to the ibc which is the water tank and to the generator i'm gonna take you guys when we're gonna be shopping for that uh for that and also we're gonna buy so be buying some hose and extension cable for the uh, vacuum and extension cable for you know the power if we want to use power and also the pressure hose extension which we don't want to use the pressure washer everywhere we go we just need to have it set up in the truck and then be able to pull the hose and wash the car 100 feet away or 50 feet away from the van wherever you park so pretty much you guys that's the uh all the equipment of coming you guys so so far like i said again this is all we have and stay tuned maybe in a couple days we're gonna have the generator, so that's how we're gonna actually start doing the setup, and then all the soap and the brushes. It's gonna be a little details, which we're gonna show you also in the third part of this video. So, which is my, which might be the final part of this video. So, I'm not quite sure how many things we're gonna to need to do because we got a built shelf and different things for the towels, so on and so forth. So, like I said again, we have a lot of things, a lot more things to come. So, this is the part of this video. So, with that being said, you guys. 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 With that being said, you guys.